raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by how many cute things there are at Target and your own inability to control adding to cart. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. Hi, welcome back. I am Jen. If you are new, I am here to talk about all things plus size fashion, a little bit of beauty and lifestyle thrown in. Um, but the overall goal of my channel is to help you live a beautiful life at any size including your wardrobe. So if you are not new, I am so glad you are back for another video. And today I'm going to talk Target to you. I have been hoarding Target things, not really hoarding. I mean, buying, loving, using, enjoying um, Target things for quite a while that I knew I'd probably at some point put into a haul. So some of them though have been um, delivered to my doorstep as recently as last week. Um, but some of them I have actually had and been using for the last couple months. So I have rounded all of it up for you. We are going to go through some clothing, some wide width shoes, accessories, great stuff. Um, and everything will be linked down in the description box. So if you are watching this on a mobile device, you can click on the arrow next to the title of the video. It's going to expand into a whole new world full of links and you can click on those and you can shop anything that I share in this video. Um, I also include just helpful notes about size and fit, my own size stats, um, if you're curious. So that is always listed down there for you along with my socials. Um, and part of the reason why I do that is of course I want you to come follow me on Instagram, but I know a lot of times asking questions, um, talking about size or fit when you're plus size can make you feel really vulnerable. And the comments section of a public YouTube video are not always the place where you want to get into that. And so I always invite you to um, send me a DM on Instagram if you have a question about fit or sizing that you just don't feel like sharing with the rest of the internet, you know, um, because you can always come ask me that and I'm happy to help over there too. So let's jump in and talk about all things Target. All right, so I kind of pushed my hair back um, because I wanted you to be able to see these earrings. I have been crazy about these earrings and I had a similar pair from Amazon, but I think they were more expensive. I also don't know where they are. Um, you know, earrings for me sometimes are like socks or caps to bottles, like wherever they end up, I hope they're living a good life. Um, but you know, they're not with me, they're somewhere else. Um, so this is what the hoop looks like up close. Um, it's kind of like a thicker style of hoop and these just go with everything and they're a great size. They're a little bit bigger, but that's kind of what I like about them because they don't disappear. Um, you can actually like see them and these are just a great basic earring that I end up wearing all the time. Speaking of things that are basic and go with everything, um, I also picked up and these I picked up um, along with this necklace at the same time in my store. I think in January or the end of December. Um, so I've had these and worn them for a while. So this is a just gold rope chain style necklace. Um, it has this right here um, for the extender. And I will say, um, you saw me wearing it during the intro. It is short on me, but what I like about it is that I can actually layer it with other necklaces, which is nice. Um, so if I wanted to put something on that's a little bit longer, I could easily do that with this. Um, I just, I think this is such a great, again, everyday type of necklace to throw on with a lot of different things. Um, it just works really well with a lot of different outfits. And again, can't beat prices of things like this when everything's like, you know, under $15. Something that I recently purchased that I normally don't from Target, graphic tees. Um, I love graphic tees, a band tee, just, you know, cute stuff like that, maybe a celebrity on it. Um, I love those. I think they're super fun, but Target just usually was carrying things that did not fit. Um, typically their graphic tees do only go up to a 3X and I just thought they were kind of tight and not really worth it. Um, however, <laughs> they got me because they put Dolly on a t-shirt and if you do that, I'm very interested. I'm probably going to add to cart and close out the transaction as quickly as possible so that I can have this in my life. Um, huge Dolly fan. My girls love Dolly. My mom loves Dolly. Um, so these are like $14.99. Now, bummer news, please don't come for me, but 
they are sold out in the plus size currently if you wear like an extra small to like an xxl i believe you can still get this however here is my target pro tip if you take nothing else from this video make sure you have the target app that you have an account on the target app and then when you see something that you love there's a little button you can click that says notify me when it's back in stock and i have used that so often because Target stuff does sell out really fast. It's hard for me to do Target hauls, honestly, um, and know that I'm gonna show you stuff that's in stock because by the time I can get it, shoot it, try it on, it could very well be gone. But things come back all the time at Target. So some of the things that I'm showing you, I had to wait and I just, I click the little button and as soon as I see the email notification, I go add it to cart and I have snagged so many things that way. Other thing is the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, this Journey tee. Um, it's like a, a total band tee. It has tour dates on the back. Um, really just cute and colorful. And this one does have great room in it. Um, this is a 3X, but it's oversized. And I think it even says in the description that it's oversized. So if you like this kind of thing, I love all these really just fun colors. Um, this is a really good one. So. I am willing to say that I may be purchasing graphic tees at Target once again. We'll see how long that lasts, but these two in particular, I really do love and recommend. It's been a while since I've purchased any kind of sunglasses. I have a whole drawer full of really fun ones from Amazon. I have heart shaped and, you know, cat eye. Um, I have some Kate Spade and things like that, but um, mostly I just use those when I'm doing like photo shoots if I want a fun sunglasses prop. Um, but. I've really been wearing my Ray-Bans to death. However, I am a sucker for, this is my favorite kind of sort of fun frame, is round oversized sunglasses. And I used to have a pair um, from like Nordstrom, I think. Who knows where they are? Um, <laughs> but this pair is Wild Fable from Target and I love these. If you have a round face, which I definitely do, you've probably been told on more than one occasion to not wear around sunglasses, but whatever, wear around sunglasses. They're fabulous. Um, these are, I think 12 bucks, very inexpensive, really fun, lightweight. If something happens to them, it's not a tragedy because you didn't spend a ton on them, but they really are just very cute, very chic. So I had to have these. I don't often do Target try-ons at home, so this is a this is a change. But I will link the um, Target playlist that I have, so you can go binge watch all my Target videos. But when you do that, you will see me talk about um, the belts at Target. They always have really great plus size belts, so they are a hidden gem of Target. I didn't realize that a lot of people were unaware, um, but I got a lot of comments and DMs. Um, that were like, I had no idea I could buy a belt at Target. You can, and they're really cute. So this one, um, I actually styled this with a dress in my previous Walmart video. Um, there's a black and white dress from the get, and it's been a, a really like top seller actually for the past like week or so. Um, you guys have loved that dress and it is really pretty. It looks incredible with this belt and you can kind of see like this gold jewelry with this belt just very like chic classic kind of look i love the oversized um buckle detail but this does have a stretchy um like a stretchy back piece so the front is all leather well faux leather um but the back is like an elastic and so what i will say is i should have gone down a size i can totally still wear it i'm not going to return it i'm going to keep wearing it at a 3x but i could have easily done a 2x because there's so much stretch um, and give in this belt. So if you get this one in particular, I'd say probably size down um, because I just, with a belt like this, you're gonna probably be wearing it up higher on your waist. You're not gonna wear this around your hips. So um, size down and check out Target belts because I promise if you need one, you're gonna find one that's gonna work. Um, and it could be something like this. It's really timeless, classic, or if you're looking for something maybe a little more trendy, they're usually pretty up on that with their belts too. My fellow hat lovers, where are you? Raise your hand. I wear hats all the time. Weekends particularly, obviously I'm not wearing this into the office, but Saturday and Sunday, or like this week, um, I'm off work for spring break because I work in higher education. So we close for spring break. Hats are everything. Um, and this one in particular is pretty cool because I'm gonna take this 
this off now. I don't want to permanently have hat head, but um, this one in particular is interesting because it closes with this little bungee on the back. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it's a really interesting material um, and it is quilted. I really love that little detail about it. So um, this is the All In Motion brand and it is a perfect match for this little bag right here. So these two together, I mean, talk about living your best mom life. You can throw on your hat, throw on your little bag, and you can go wherever and be just looking like put together, having all your little snacks and you know, all your things in the bag for the kids. It's the little things you guys. Um, I just love that they match. <laughs> so this is really interesting though, because I read, and this I believe is, I think it's Wild Fable. Um, I'll have to check, but this is very inexpensive. This was, I think $15. Yes, this is Wild Fable. And for 15 bucks, you get what can be worn, obviously, as a crossbody. It does fit me as a crossbody. Um, and so you've got a pouch in here in the front. And then actually, let me reopen this for you so you can see the inside. So it holds a lot of stuff. Um, I like to put cards and stuff right here. And then <clears throat> you can slide little extras in this front pouch. And then also you've got an extra little pouch right here. So if you wanted to put just cards in here, you could certainly do that. Um, lots of versatility. So you can obviously wear it crossbody if you want to. Um, and it does work for me as a crossbody bag. So you can see, I can definitely get it on, but I really like wearing it up high, kind of like a belt bag. Um, and I wouldn't have thought of that necessarily with this, but in the reviews, people were talking about how that's what they bought this for. They bought it to wear like this. Um, and I have never tried that until now. I'm kind of a believer, you guys. It's actually a great way to be hands-free, have what you need right at your fingertips. And also in the review section for this bag specifically, people were saying it's pretty much spot on for the Lululemon belt bag, which is about $38, I think, whereas this one's 15. So, and someone who was plus size, that was what made me ultimately go, okay, I'm gonna add to cart because someone who was plus size said they bought it to wear um, a pie like this. And I thought, you know what, for $15, I'll give this a shot, see what I think. I love it. I have been wearing it and using it and I cannot recommend it enough. So for $15 or if you want to be matchy matchy, I just think this is such a cute little way to stay organized, simplified, get out the door and still look really put together. Over here on my channel, I've never shared these Target PJs and I've actually had these for a while. I have linked to them on like to know it several times. Um, I have linked to them on Instagram several times, but I've never tried them on, not here on my channel anyway. Um, so these are the Stars Above um, pajamas. And what I will say about them is that they are incredibly soft, incredibly stretchy, and the fit is great. So you really just can't go wrong if you like a matching pajama set. Um, these sometimes do go on sale, not always, but sometimes, um, if they do go on sale, I'll always tell you over on Instagram. That's why you should follow me there. Um, because stories are the first place where I'm like, Hey, y'all listen, if you want some, some target PJs on sale, here you go. Um, so these have just been so lovely, soft. Like I wish you guys could feel this because it is truly just such soft material. I feel like they have faded a little bit, um, but I've washed and worn these a lot. So they have gotten tons of use from me. Um, so, you know, a little bit of fading, a little bit of, you know, just pilling or things like that. It's to be expected, but all in all, still in great shape in my opinion. Um, and just, oh, chef's kiss. Like I would say out of any pajama sets that I own, these probably rank number one, um, truly. So if you do not have any of the stars above pajama sets or sleep shirts or pants or anything like that, I feel like they do run 
um, really generously and nicely sized. I usually get a 4X just so that they're not tight. I want them to be loose. Um, I love them. You need them. You deserve them. So I picked up a couple of bags to try um, that are more spring, summer. And the first one I got is this little crossbody number round straw wicker. This style has been around um, for several seasons now, still going strong. And it has this really nice sort of leather, again, faux leather um, detailing that I think is really cool. It makes it feel a little more high end, a little more special. Um, I will say this is, it is plus size friendly. Um, however, it is a little bit small in terms of the, the size of the round wicker. Sorry, I'm adjusting the strap. That's why I'm looking down. I had it made really small so it would go over my toddler because she wanted to try it on. Um, so this, I mean, the strap does go super long. So you can definitely wear this um, crossbody if you are plus size, like it goes, I can't even show you like standing up like this, but I mean, you can obviously see it will hit you in the right place. But for me, my shape, my size, it looks a little small. It does get a little bit lost. Um, so I think it's just a very personal choice about like what you feel like looks the best on you. But in terms of like just quality and how cute it is, it's really great. So if you're in the market for something like this, um, I really do love this. I think it's super cute. And then another bag, she's a big one, um, is <laughs> this one right here. So I actually, these have been popular for a long time. Somehow I've never ended up with one. Um, I always think I'm going to get one and then I never do, but this one had the really fun, like wooden, um, bead handles. And that's really, that's what sold me on this bag. You guys, the handles, um, it's big. It is, it is a vast cavernous, just abyss where <laughs> you can throw in many things. And for some people that's great. For some people are like, oh my God, I don't need a bag that big. I'll never be able to find anything. So if you were going on a beach trip and you wanted to take something cute, this would be an awesome option. Um, if you're just looking for something cute to style with outfits, again, it's adorable for that too. So it can really serve um, a lot of purposes in your wardrobe, but I mean, you can see like, it's not small. So it's a substantial bag, but it's really cute. So if you're looking for something like this and you're in the market for a cute straw bag, I think this one is darling. So for the last couple of years, I haven't really bought a lot of sandals. Um, this time around though, I have all the sandals, um, partially because I want to be able to try them out and tell you what I think about them. Um, so I can tell you, yes, you need these or save your money and do something different. Um, so I have several pair here from Target. Now, if you don't have um, a wide foot, obviously these are still gonna be available in regular width sizes. And I mean, you can read the reviews to see if people think they are, you know, maybe super narrow or whatever, but I'm not an expert on, you know, how regular width necessarily is gonna fit you. But when it comes to the wide width, I got you covered. Um, so I have, looked at these a million times. They did these last season. They were very popular. I passed on them then because I just wasn't sure. But since I've been buying all the sandals and they've had so many options, I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw these in because I can kind of compare and see what I think. Um, and what I will say about this pair, I do like that they have the, um, the studded detail. These also come in black. They're very pretty. Um, as a general rule, I will tell you with all of my Target and Walmart sandals, I size up one. I just feel like that's the only way, even in a wide width, that I can make it work. Um, so I size up to a 12 and everything. I am really truly an 11 wide. Um, my foot changed after I had my first daughter and never went back. So I've been an 11 <laughs> ever since. And um, these, the band, and I read some reviews that kind of echoed this. So um, this cross band style has been around for a while and it's very popular, but depending on where your pinky toes hit in this kind of area, this can kind of rub. And on me, it's pretty questionable. So these are cute. They will go on just fine, 
but I feel like right where my pinky toe sits, this may end up driving me nuts. So I don't know that these are a keeper for me. Now, again, if you watched that last Walmart video, you've already seen these. Oh my gosh. Like these are so stinking cute. I was shocked, like completely shocked that they went ahead and did these in wide width. I just feel like with wide width, we kind of just get whatever they feel like giving us. Um, and we're just supposed to say thank you. Um, so I feel like this is not normally a style that we would see from Target in a wide width, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad that they did this um, because these are so cute. I will say when I put them on, um, I do kind of have to pull them a little bit to just get them in place. Um, that doesn't bother me. Like, does my foot like just go and slide right in? No, I need to like pull and kind of adjust. And then once my foot's in there, I'm good to go. Um, these are again, a 12 wide. I sized up. If you have a wide foot, consider sizing up. Um, these again are probably a sandal that's going to come in and out of stock all summer long. So if you can't get it in your size right now, whether you're regular width or wide width, turn on that, email me when it's back in stock notification, because that's how I got these. And that is also how I got these. Um, these were already in stock in the black. I styled these also in the Walmart video. Um, so you've probably already seen these if you watch that, but I just got these in this week because again, they've been out of stock. So I've had to turn on that little, little notification button. That's a mouthful. Um, so that I could snag these and I finally did. It was so worth it. Um, I love the rhinestone ones for sure. And I'm, those are not going back at all. I'm wearing those till the wheels fall off. But in terms of comfort and then just overall versatility, this style is definitely where it's at. Again, sized up to a 12 wide and I love these. Love, love, love. Um, probably my favorite sandal that I have bought out of everything um, that I've bought so far for the season. So I really would recommend that you try these if you're in the market for a sandal to see if you love them too because I it's been a while since I've had a sandal um that I have felt this strongly about <laughs> and they're very nice and cushy too so these have a lot of cushion if there's one particular area where Target just always gets me like it's not the dollar spot like I mean yes I can get suckered in by the dollar spot for sure but where they really are like you're buying something just go ahead and give us your money. And then I'm always like, okay, here you go. You can have it. Um, it's dresses. Target does great dresses and I am a dress gal. Like hands down, number one favorite thing to wear because they're just easy, you throw them on and go. I love styling them. Um, dresses are just a huge part of my wardrobe and Target does fantastic dresses. They also do great skirts. Um, so this is the season where I pretty much just write pants out of my life. <laughs> Not completely, but I do wear a lot of dresses and I always check for new arrivals at Target because they have fantastic selections, but they tend to go fast. So um, let's jump into some dress and skirt options. This particular skirt, I was really excited about it because I really like this soft sort of lavender color. Um, it has a fun ruffle detail at the bottom. But skirts are tricky for me. A lot of times they'll either be like too big around the waistband because I do like to wear them up a little bit higher. I just feel like that's the best um, best look for my particular shape. Um, so they'll either be too big up at the waistband or too tight around the hips. It's tricky. Um, so when I find a great skirt, it's like, yay, I'm going to buy three more just like this. Um, but trying new ones, I don't always hit the jackpot. And that's kind of the case with this one. I still wanted to show it because I think it's so cute. Um, so if you are looking for something like this, it's darling. It has the flat waistband like in the front and then it is elastic in the back, which is nice. So it does have some stretch. This one, it fits me great through the waist. It's just very tight around the hips. So um, doesn't mean it won't work for you though, which is why I wanted to go ahead and show it. This next dress I refer to as the Target dress because it has come back season after season. Um, it has been so popular. I think 2020 is the first year that they rolled this dress out, if I'm not mistaken. And it has been so popular year after year. It is a top seller. 
every time I share it, um, and I know it is for a lot of other people who create fashion content. So, and among uh, my followers and subscribers, always get great feedback about this dress. So I got it this time around in this color, which is real bright, I know. I don't really own anything in this color. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. Um, so it has a great little ruffle detail. <clears throat> it is tiered. It's a maxi dress, so it is long. It has another ruffle at the bottom. And what I'll say is the feedback that I have read in comments um, under the review section on Target, and then also from some of my Instagram followers who have sent me DMs is that there are some colors where the sizing is a little bit different. So I think generally speaking, this dress runs pretty true to size, if not oversized, but particularly in the pink, for whatever reason, it runs small. Um, I saw other people saying that, I got a DM about it. So just beware, if you buy this in the pink shade, you probably wanna size up. I don't know why, um, but my follower that sent me a DM, she showed me like the, the gap in sizing. They were both a 2X, but the pink one, I mean, there was like this much difference. So on each side, so that's crazy, right? Um, I got it in this color and I love it, but I got a 4X being like a little, you know, um, overly cautious from reading some of the reviews, thinking like maybe sizing has like shifted or changed. I really think it's just, it's just specific to certain colors because this is the 4X and it's really, it's, it's too big. Um, I will probably have to just go ahead and exchange this and size down to the 3X, which is fine. Um, you know, not a big deal. But when I tried it on, I was like, oh yeah, the armholes, you know, all of it, just too big. So definitely in this color, and I think most others, a 3X would probably be the right size for me. Um, but if I were gonna do the pink, I would for sure order it in a 4X, just based on what everybody has been telling me. Now, if one is good, three is even better, right? Um, this dress I did order in three different colors because as soon as I saw it, I knew this is my kind of dress. This is a dress that I will wear to the office all summer. Um, this is a dress that I will probably continue to wear into an Oklahoma fall because it stays warm for so long. Um, this is a great length and this is something I can also wear on the weekends with sneakers. Um, I can dress this up if I want to wear it to, I don't know, a shower or a birthday party or something like that. It's just got a ton of versatility and it has been really popular. It has been selling out and coming back in all the different colors across all the different sizes. So, um, you know, go down to the link in the description, see what colors and what sizes it's available in um, because I think you really can't go wrong with any of the colors. Um, I did go ahead and do a 4X in this one. And I feel like that was a good choice. Um, gives me plenty of room, especially if I encounter anything shrinking or anything like that. Um, it has this great little like sort of, not quite empire baby doll, but it does come up a little bit higher. So it's really flattering. And then um, the length on this is really more like a midi length. So I grabbed it in black. <laughs> I got it in basic white and I got it in the hot pink um, because those are all colors that are already in my wardrobe that I already love and enjoy. It was a no brainer. Can you guys hear that plane flying over? Of course. Um, but anyway, so love, love, love these. I did style um, this particular pair of jeans in that last Walmart video and I really am impressed with the quality of these jeans. Here's the thing, white denim is just, it can be difficult to wear because it feels so unforgiving, because it is. Um, it is not something that's going to conceal or hide anything that you've got going on. It just doesn't. But I think if you wanna wear white denim, you should totally wear white denim. Um, however, I will also say on the flip side of that coin, if it gives you anxiety, if it doesn't make you feel good, don't do it. Um, I think with fashion, you know, we should always feel empowered to try new things and wear things that maybe society has told us like, that's not for you because you're not, you know, you're not like this. You don't fit into this particular box, so you can't wear that. 
Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> you can wear whatever you want to wear. At the same time, I think we should honor the feelings of those who are like, it doesn't sit well with me. It gives me, it gives me anxiety. It makes me feel upset. Like you should never feel upset trying to make something work for you that just does not bring you joy, right? That's kind of how I look at it. So if you are curious and interested on, you know, how would white denim look for you, give it a shot. If it does not make you feel okay inside and you are climbing out of your skin, don't feel pressured to wear white denim. It's totally your choice. Um, so this is a great pair of jeans though. I really do love um, kind of the unfinished edge here. I think that's a really nice detail. These are super duper stretchy. Um, I went ahead and did a 28 in these. I feel like that was a great fit. And so I think if you're looking for white denim, this is definitely a great contender uh, to consider. So I completely forgot to film an outro. Uh, you know, it happens. What am I thinking? I don't know. I am like here a day and a half later getting ready to run out the door and shoot with my photographer. And so I thought, well, I'll at least hop on and film something real quick while I'm looking presentable. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. All the links are down below. Let me know if you need help or have questions. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.